guys, Vezmo for here. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video, I will be doing a live end game melee build for Demon Souls remake on the PS5. What I believe one of the best builds in the game after the magic build that I did in a previous video. Uh, I'll be doing the stats, the classes, the starting classes, the best starting classes actually, uh, the weapon loadout choices, raids choices, uh, miracles, and magic spell choices as well. But before we dive into the build, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Uh, that will be really helpful as an engagement to grow the channel out and supporting the channel as well. With that being said, let's dive into that juicy, spicy, like endgame melee build. Mm. All right, let's get into that spicy, like build, shall we? Uh, the best starting class for you is the royalty or the soldier class is the best starting class for this build stat wise stat allocation wise at max level i've been playing the game since it came out uh two years ago so on max level 712 um, but your stats allocation should be like that vitality around 30 intelligence around 15 endurance around like 20-ish, uh, strength around 18, skill or dex around 18 as well, magic and faith also should be around 18, luck around like 45 or 48, good luck being the highest stat in your build, being the highest stat in your build as well, luck, uh, attribute wise, uh, for weapon loadout, the best weapon for this build is the blue blood sword. The best weapon for this build is the blue blood sword. Uh, magic sword Makoto uh, is a secondary weapon. You don't have to use it. It just gets you to uh, to get into hyper mode quickly. That's it. Uh, for talisman wise. Uh, Talisman of Beast is the best choice for this build uh, because you can cast miracles and magic spells with it. So it's amazing, a great choice. Morion Blade is amazing because you can increase your damage, melee damage, while going to hyper mode. It's amazing for this build. Give you that sweet spicy damage uh, for armor set penetrator uh, you can wear whatever you want whatever armor that you desire i like wearing this penetrator armor set because uh, amazing aesthetic with the morion blade and the blue blood sword ring wise uh, I use the Regenerator Ring and the Clever Rat Ring. The only reason why I'm using the Ring of Heraculean Strength is because, uh, because of the Penetrator Armor Set Carry Limit Capacity. It won't let me. That's why. But the Regenerator Ring and the, the Clever Rat Ring which is a must for this build because you can deal so much damage with it, with it because it will get you to hyper mode. Being to hyper mode using the clever rat ring, which is the meta and the magic build that I posted in a previous video, uh, the Morion Blade as well, as an offhand. See, as an offhand. Amazing. You can deal more damage, spicy damage in hyper mode. Now let's get into the miracles and the magic spell choices. Uh, for miracles, the only miracle that you need is the second chance. It's more like Tears of Denial in Dark Souls. Pretty much uh, revives you and also restores some of your health. Like when you face bosses, uh, because since you will go to hyper mode and hyper mode, 
you like uh, thirty percent of your health. You have only thirty percent of your health, and you're facing a boss. Um, and this miracle is amazing, and recommended for this build. Uh, enchant weapon. Uh, it's a magic spell. You can enchant, imbue your blue blood sword with it. Uh, cloak. You can cloak yourself. Like for example, let's see if you speed running a level, any level, you speed running it, and uh, you can use this spell to hide yourself from from mob, from mobs as well. Uh, Light weapon is another good choice. Other than the enchant weapon spell, you can use that as well when you face bosses. Especially uh, when you face bosses that are weak to magic. A warding is a protective defensive spell. Great choice when facing bosses. You can use that as well. To summarize this, Luck build first get to hyper mode using the magic sword Makoto that will decrease your health but take off the regenerator ring and replace it with the fragment ring instead then equip your blue blood sword in your own hand both hands and the morion blade in your off hand which is like on your back if you need those weapons I can drop it for you because I have everything in the game just join the community discord and also uh, use your second chance miracle before facing bosses and then imbue your blue blood sword with enchant weapon magic spell help me to get to 2000 subscribers and thank you for watching what's up guys Vesmoper here I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed please do and there are many videos to watch popping on the screen and again thanks for watching